Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. And today we are going to create the challenge for the month of May. Joining our monthly challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name, school name to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. And by completing all of the challenges, which is up to January 2018, you will be receiving an Autodesk Certificate of Completion signed by Autodesk CEO. And learning all the monthly challenges raises the possibility and percentage of you in passing the Fusion 360 Certified User Exam. Let's open up Fusion 360 and first let's create the base rectangle. So I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle tool. Now we are prompted to select a face or plane. I'm going to select our XZ plane. Left click. But first take note that our units is in inches. So I'm going to head to units. Change active units. The unit type, I'm changing this one to inch. Hitting OK. And hitting R once more. Selecting the option of center rectangle. For our center point, it will be at the origin. Left click. The height to be 4. And the width, I'm hitting tab, is 13.8. The reason for 13.8 is 6.9 multiplied to 2. And from here, we can now hit E for extrude. We are prompted to select a profile, selecting our rectangular profile. And I'd like to extrude our profile down. And for its thickness, it's negative 0.6. Operation, new body, and hitting OK. And from our challenge, we have the option to extrude a circular profile. But for me, my strategy is to create a sketch and revolve it. So moving forward, I'm going to hit R. Just to enter sketch mode and selecting our XZ plane, zooming in and selecting slice. I'm going to place our first corner here at the midpoint. The indication for midpoint is the triangle. So left click. Our height to be 4. Hitting tab. And the width to be 3.2, which is the half of our cylindrical diameter. So once more, 3.2, hitting Enter. Next, hitting L to grab our line tool, creating a line. And for me, we are going to trace this outline. So dropping our first point here, making a quick sketch. Now you can disable inferred constraints by holding control. So left click here, left click, and left click. Inspecting our 2D drawing, hitting D for dimension. So looking at the diameter of 5.8, 5, 5 selecting this line and this line. Left click here, so it's 5.8 divided by 2 for the radius. Same here, left click this one and left click, dropping our dimension here. So it's 4.2 divided by 2, 2.1. I'm going to hit escape to rearrange our dimension. So left click and hold, left click and hold, zooming out, hitting D once more, selecting this line, 
and this bottom horizontal line dropping our dimension here keying in 3.8 selecting this line and this line drop our dimension here keying in 2.8 hitting enter selecting this line and this horizontal line drop our dimension here keying in 2.2 hitting enter zooming in selecting this line and this line once more this line drop our dimension here keying in 0.4 hitting escape so this one is not yet perfectly vertical so left click and right click selecting horizontal and vertical next selecting this line and this vertical line drop our dimension here the value to be 0.5 hitting enter and the radius for the circular cut here at the bottom is 1.6 and the half to be 0.8 hitting enter and now my sketch profile altered into black meaning this one is fully constrained and if yours is not turning into black what you can do is head over to your profile selecting preferences and under preview sketch should be checked so I'm gonna hit OK going back and we have one remaining piece selecting this line and this line drop our dimension here the value to be 1.7 hitting enter hitting escape rearranging and moving 3.2 here and finally we can now hit stop sketch hitting s to grab our model toolbox typing re selecting revolve and for the profile selecting this profile left click activating axis left click and for our axis this is going to be our vertical line it turned into red meaning it's a cut so I'm gonna go to operation and change this one to join and finally hitting OK going to home view let's expand our sketches and turn on sketch 2 right click and select repeat revolve now if your last operation or command is not revolved then this would be a different icon or command here so selecting repeat revolve the profile to be this one and for the operation this one to be cut activating axis selecting this vertical line going to home view and finally hitting OK so model looking nice let's turn off the visibility of our sketch to turning this off moving forward let's create the support section or feature here I'm gonna hit L for line and let's sketch on this face left click and I'm gonna head up to sketch selecting project include and selecting intersect let's select the cylinder and hitting OK going to front view hitting L for line let's create a line from here up to here hitting escape and hitting D for dimension selecting this line and this line dropping our dimension here the angle to be 57 hitting escape next the height from here up to here is 3.4 so let's check hitting D for dimension left click this point and this edge so confirm it's 3.4 it's perfectly coincident at the stop edge so moving forward going to stop sketch 
hitting S and typing R, I, selecting rib, prompted to select a curve, selecting this line. Let's change this one to one direction. And for the thickness, it should be 0.5. So going in the opposite direction to the right, I'm going to key in negative 0.5. And finally, hitting OK. Going to Home View. And earlier, during our sketch creation, we created our rectangle to be perfectly at the center. Now, the purpose of always centering sketches or making them symmetrical is for us to have the opportunity to utilize the mirror tool so from here hitting s for model toolbox typing mi selecting mirror the pattern type should be features the object this is our rib activating mirror plane let's select this plane our xy left click compute option adjust hitting ok and repeating the procedure right click select repeat mirror objects it would be our mirror and our rib activating mirror plane and you guess it right the plane should be yz left click same as well compute option to be adjust hitting ok going to home view and let's turn off the visibility of sketch 3 Moving forward, let's create the holes. Hitting C for circle and selecting this face. Let's drop our center point here. Diameter to be 1.4. Hitting enter. And let's grab our horizontal vertical tool. Selecting this center point and our origin. Aligning them horizontally. Hitting D for dimension, selecting this edge and our center point, dropping our dimension here, keying in 1.85, hitting enter, and hitting E for extrude, selecting the circle, moving this arrow down. Now for the extent, I want this to be two object left click this arrow and left click this face now the purpose of two object is in the future if my thickness for this one changes automatically my extrude would be following the position and placement of this face so hitting ok and Grabbing our mirror tool once more. The pattern type to be features, selecting extrude, selecting mirror plane, selecting this plane, hitting OK. And finally, hitting F to grab our fillet tool, selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. The radius to be 1.2 and hitting OK going to home view and a big congratulations to you for completing the monthly challenge for May thanks for watching and happy learning this video is brought to you by MSI workstations the best laptop for CAD and 3D modeling Head to your nearest MSI reseller to experience the ease of rendering and modeling with MSI workstations. Thanks and see you next month.